hey everybody, I have discovered a software here recently that I wanted to share. I know that a lot of entrepreneurs, you'll, you'll have checklists or cheat sheets or information that you'll wanna share with an audience. And some of us struggle, some of us who aren't graphic designers, myself included, we struggle with how to create those. And so I've discovered this software that I wanna, I wanna do a little screen share tutorial here with you today to show you how easy it is and how to make that work. And you see these all over the internet where, hey, download this, uh, this checklist or cheat sheet, whatever, just put your email address in. I'm gonna show you how to do all of that. So let's head on over to the computer right here. So we're at a website called attract.io. And this software is put out by a company called Growth Tools. And um, I've worked with them before with their, uh, with their list building accelerator. I worked with them there and they really helped me with understanding how to build an email list. So in this particular case, we're going to create a new league magnet and it gives us a chance to, to decide what kind we want to do. Do we want to do a case study, a how-to guide, checklist, or a resource guide? And here, I, let's go ahead and check out the checklist one here. And it's, it's already bringing it up. And then what's nice is we have a few different options here. Now, you might be fooled and just like it's just the color. It's actually the whole, like the text, um, it's a whole design here. So there's this one and let's check out this one. Actually, that text looks about the same and same type of deal here. And we've got this last one and, and I kind of like this last one. So we're gonna go with that one as the one that we wanna go with. So we'll try that preset. Now we can go page by page. So I'm gonna click on this page here and we're going to edit the background. Now in this particular case, I'm going to do this one is a video shoot checklist, a very simple video shoot checklist. So what I wanna do is let's look here for Unsplash. Unsplash is uh, unsplash.com. You can actually find some stock photography that you can use that's open source and you can use it. But let's just type in video and see what happens here and see if any of these are ones that we would want to um, use. Well. This is probably a pretty good one. I One of the things I'm talking about in the checklist is using uh, uh, your phone for making videos. And then we might be able to, well, that's probably just fine the way it is. And the overlay color, we can decide what kind of color we want there. Um, I'm okay with that gray, maybe a, mm, maybe that and, or you can add your own image, which is pretty cool too. So back here, let's go ahead and change the title of this and we're gonna call this uh, video shoot checklist right here. And then I can just go section by section right here. So put in my name and I'm gonna put in my website right here. Great. Now this next section here is a little intro type of deal. So an intro to the, to the, to your checklist here. So we're calling it, it, see how it already grabbed the name of our checklist and our name. And let's see if we can change this. Uh, let's see if we can change this color. Let's go ab about that. Oh, if we go to settings maybe? Oh, there we go. So there's header background color. I'm gonna go ahead and change that to like a black or a gray, something like that here. There we go, so video shoot checklist. And here is where in those settings where we could change the fonts if we wanted to. I'm actually okay with what we've got going on here. Now I do wanna change this picture. I probably wanna change this to one of, uh, like a, one of my pictures. So I'm gonna click on upload image and I've already saved one to my desktop and let's see if we can find it. There we go. So there's a picture of me. That way I can kind of personalize this a little bit. And then let's go ahead and change this text right here. I've actually written a little blurb here that we can jot in there because you don't really, nobody wants to watch me type. Although I'm gonna type my name again. So this is kind of cool that they've put this handwriting font in here. Uh, obviously, it's not really my signature, but that'll work. 
So now in this section, now we can go ahead and put in our checklist items. You see the checklist, and I'm gonna, we'll probably just go ahead and speed this up so that you don't have to watch me type the entire time. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just type right in here so that we can uh, add all of the different items that we want for our checklist. Okay, so now here we are, we've put in our last checklist item and there's still actually more another checklist item here. So we're actually just going to delete that and look at that, it made the little box go away. Now what I can tell you is it won't necessarily add more boxes. There's not a lot of editing capability within this, but that's part of the, part of the beauty of it is we're working within what's going on here. Now this next page, it has a, is a nice little end, ending page where you can put a link in and truthfully i don't really need that i just want a really simple type of a download checklist for for the people who will want to do that so what i can do is just hide page right there so it just hides the page very very easy so now we have a three page checklist oh no we need to uh delete that um definitely we're just going to delete the the logo here and let me see what I can do here. Edit the image, image gallery. Um, I think I can put clear. Yep, so I just cleared. I just decided not to do any type of a logo. And kind of cool, we're seeing the you know, this video shoot checklist for we've got the iPhone right there. Uh, pretty, pretty straightforward. Now let's go ahead and we'll go to our settings, just make sure everything's good there. Save it, and now we can click on publish. Now when we click on publish, it tells us right here, your lead magnet is now live. And we can, we can customize the URL if we want to. I'm actually gonna download this and do something slightly different with it. But uh, let's go ahead and click on these advanced publish settings. We can customize the URL right there and send it to like video tips. There we go, let's see if we can do that. There we go, and click on preview. And this is what it looks like when somebody wants to, to download it. This is what they're going to get. So see how easy and painless that is? That is how you can create a downloadable PDF that where you can send people to a link. Now there's some other ways to put this uh, where people can enter their email address and get the PDF and all of that, which I'll, I'll actually show you another video. I'll be doing that on ConvertKit is one of the email softwares that I use. Uh, but anyway, I hope this was helpful for you. I have really enjoyed using Attract. I think it makes creating these so simple, so easy, and it's done so quickly. So if you like this video, hit that like button, get that thumbs up, and definitely check out some of the other videos that I do. We'll put a suggestion right here and go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in another video.